This is the new for 2022 Moto Caddy Dry Series cart bag. And this is the previous version. So in the video today, I'm gonna to give you my full honest review of this brand new cart bag. I'm gonna tell you all the things it's improved on compared to the previous version, as well as a couple of things that actually they've taken a little bit of a step back. But because the main feature of this bag is just how waterproof it is, we need to start with a full blown waterproof test. So I'm gonna to need to jump back in time a couple of weeks. The last time I tested the previous version of this bag, I soaked it with a hose myself. This time I've recruited the help of an absolute expert in making a mess. Are you ready? <laughs> I think that's enough. What do you reckon? High five. Good job. Safe to say that the bag and myself got an absolute soaking. So let's take a look inside. First of all, let's take a look at the actual clubs. So we'll take the hood off, which has got the two Velcro bits at the back. Same as before. Absolutely no water has got through onto those clubs there. So what I've done is put some newspaper in some of these pockets, because that will clearly show up any water that's got in. Now, I'm gonna try and get to this newspaper very carefully. And actually, okay, so that was me dripping the water there as I opened the bag, but you can see there, that is completely dry. Opening up the big pocket on the side, and I've got my waterproof jacket in there, glove. That has stayed absolutely dry. Opening up the valuables pocket as well. Again, I'll put a sheet of newspaper in there. That is completely dry. And lastly, opening up this front pocket here. Let's see, so I'll keep a few things in there. So look, you've got a pack of tissues in there, some plasters in case you get blisters. Got my sunglasses, a pack of paracetamol, just in case, you know, you're playing after a heavy night out the night before. And again, no water getting through there whatsoever. So if you were wondering just how waterproof this cart bag is, I think that settles it. It is seriously, seriously waterproof. But this bag needs to be more than just waterproof. So first of all, let's just quickly cover off the key features of this bag. And then I'm gonna get into the specifics as to what's improved with this bag compared to the previous version. And actually, what's just a little bit worse. This bag currently retails in the UK for 250 pounds, although the team over at ukgolfacademy.com are currently selling it for 229 pounds and they've given me an exclusive offer code of GGRDSB and that'll get you a free Moto Caddy umbrella worth 40 pounds when you buy this bag. You've now got nine waterproof pockets on this compared to seven on the previous bag and you've got small ones here on the side and you've got one on this side that's actually padded on the inside for your valuables. That's pretty common practice on waterproof bags these days. But you've got some big ones there if you wanna put some spare clothes in it. You've got another big one on this side as well. And then actually the one on the front here is pretty deep. We can get plenty of balls and stuff in there. They've actually moved the cooler pocket. So they've moved it to this front one here. So the zip opens on the front and that's a nice deep pocket as well. So you can get some pretty big water bottles in there. The bag's got an internal umbrella holder. So it just slides in that sleeve right there. And on the top, you have got 14 full length divider pockets. Now when I say full length, it's actually just a material on the inside. So it's not a solid unit going all the way down. But to be honest, I've had no problems with my clubs snagging up when I'm taking them out of this bag. In fact, the design of this divider unit is exactly the same as the previous version. So you can see here, you've got this big one at the front. Initially, I was using that for my driver, but actually because it's got the largest hole of the lot, I'm using it for my putter because that's got a thicker grip. A nice little feature that I like with this bag, and it was on the previous version as well, is that yes, you've got the carry strap on the back, so if you need to carry it rather than put it on the cart or the buggy, you can do, but it does have this helpful little strap at the bottom, which means that you can just keep the strap there and you don't have to keep it in a pocket instead, which will use up valuable space. As with the previous version, you've also got the same carry handles as well. So you've got a big plastic one on the front, which makes it nice and easy to pick up. You've got a big handle on the back there as well, if you need to pick it that way. And what you've actually got is kind of like a secret handle at the bottom here as well. So when you're getting it in and out your car, it means that you've got a good grip on both ends of the bag. The bag also has Moto Caddy's Easy Lock system. So you can see on the bottom here that you've got these two little clips that you screw into the bottom of the bag. And then that means that if you are using the bag with a Moto Caddy trolley, then those little pins just sit in the bottom of the trolley. And it means that you don't have to put a strap around the bottom of the bag. You just run the top strap through, which has got this handy little pass through as well. That is a system that if you have already got a Moto Caddy trolley, is actually really nice. It does give you quite a bit of extra stability with the bag 
on the trolley. Now, if you haven't got a motor caddy bag, it doesn't matter because you have got the notch cut out on the bottom there. So you can see it's kind of like a square cut out. And that means that generally on most bags, it will stop it from twisting. A couple of other small touches as well. You've got these rubber elements on the bottom of the base to give you a little bit of additional grip. And actually on the very back of the bag, where it would rest on a trolley, you've got a slightly grippier material compared to that nylon. That's also probably there to help with the durability of the unit. To help with the waterproof properties, the zips are just really nice quality. So you can see here that they've got this kind of hot melted material all around the outside of every single one of the zips. And then you've also got these little garages, they're calling them, for the zips as well that sit in. So you keep it, make sure it zips to the top and you're not gonna get any water in at the top of the zip there. And actually you can see you've got nice big chunky loops on these zips as well. So they're nice and easy to open. The bag comes in plenty of color options. So if you don't like this red and gray design, there's probably gonna be something that's right for you. So what are the major changes compared to the previous version? Well, first of all, you now have got a dedicated Velcro patch to keep your glove on. Before you had to use the Velcro patches that attached to the rain hood. Now that was a little bit annoying because actually they would get covered when you strap your trolley to a car. Another addition to the bag is that you've got this front panel, which just kind of lifts up with these two Velcro tabs here, one and two. And it means you can actually take that fully off and customize this front panel if you really want to. Personally, I'm probably not gonna do that. You've not got a huge amount of space here to actually customize. It's there if you wanna do it, I guess. Now I've gotta figure out how to put this back on. You might have noticed as I took that panel off, a couple of pencils fell out the front. And that's something with this bag, as well as the previous bag, that is just a minor annoyance for me in that there is no dedicated place to keep a pencil or a pen. It means that you have to keep it in this front pocket, which doubles up as your scorecard holder. Now, this isn't necessarily the deepest pocket in the world, so I've always felt a little bit uneasy using it to keep my scorecard in. That being said, all the times I've used this bag, the scorecard's never actually fallen out. So maybe I'm just worrying over nothing. As I mentioned at the beginning, you've now got two extra pockets. You've got this side one here and another one on the other side. So it's always good to get extra space. What that does mean is that this bag is now about half a kilogram heavier compared to the previous version. Are you really gonna notice an extra half a kilogram given that this bag is most likely only ever gonna be used on a trolley or on a cart? Probably not. They've also changed the layout of the pockets here, especially on the front. So the cooler pocket has moved from the bottom to this one at the front instead. However, they have made one change, which I think has actually made this newer version slightly worse compared to the previous version. Let me just grab it over here. So on the previous version, you had a helpful hook here, which is a big plastic one, so you can clip your towels or your range finder or your ball cleaner or whatever you want on this big hook here. But it also had this small metallic one on this side of the bag too. So you could choose to space it out a bit if you wanted. On the new version, they've done away with that small metallic clip on this side, which means that you've only got this big plastic one on this side, which now means that by the time you put your towel and your range finder and maybe a groove cleaner on the bag, it all gets bunched up on this side of the bag. That's not a deal breaker in my opinion, but I do think that it would have been nice to actually have a hook on each side. Motor Caddy, if you're listening, it would be great to bring that back. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video so it will help more people see it. And why not check out my full review of the Motor Caddy M1 electric trolley, which I've included right here.